Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper C. Here we're working on question 8 to coordinates question. The points A, B have coordinates 3k minus 4 minus 2 and 1k plus 1 respectively where k is a constant. Given that the gradient of A, B is minus 3 over 2, show that k equals minus 3. Okay, so a line that has a gradient of minus 3 over 2 is going to roughly look like this. Let's say that we have the coordinate 3k minus 4 at minus 2 up here, and we have the coordinate 1k plus 1 up down here. So what we do is difference in y over difference in x, and show that this must equal minus 3 over 2. So a difference in y over difference in x. So the difference in the y coordinates is from minus 2, uh, down to k plus 1. So what we're going to do there is do um, k plus 1 minus uh, minus 2. So k plus 1 minus minus 2. And if we're going from here to 1, it's going to be 1 take away 3k minus 4, like that. So effectively what you could think of this as is of is y b take away y a over x b take away x a these are the a coordinates these are the b coordinates so i've done the coordinate b take away the coordinate for a on the y axis and the coordinate for b on the x axis take away the coordinate for the b for the a on the x axis as well so simplifying this, and we'll set it equal to minus 3 over 2 in a bit, so that will give us uh, k plus 3 over, uh, this will give us a double negative of 4, so that add on that to make 5, uh, take away 3k, and this is going to equal minus 3 over 2. So cross multiply over, so it will be 2k plus 3, Sorry, the two's come from nowhere. Two brackets, k plus three equals minus three lots of five minus three k. So simplifying this, two uh, x plus so two k plus six equals minus fifteen add nine k. Taking the k's over to this side here, you get seven k. Uh, add on 15 onto this side, you get a 21, so therefore k equals 3. Great. So make sure you're working for this question is really clear. Find an equation for the line going through a to b. Well, this is going to equal um, y equals 3, sorry, not 3, the gradient's minus 3 over 2, so minus 3 over 2x plus c, from y equals mx plus c, and we're going to plug in the coordinate uh, of either one of these um, coordinates. So I think the easiest one to probably use is this coordinate here. This is going to turn into a 1, 4. So plugging in the coordinate 1, 4, we're going to get this is the x coordinate here. This coordinate here is the y coordinate. So this is going to be 4 equals minus 3 over 2 times 1. Add c. So therefore add the 3 over 2 onto the other side and you get 5.5 or 11 over 2 is your value for C. Um, so the equation of the uh, straight line is going to be y equals minus 3 over 2x add 11 over 2. Okay, moving on to the next question here, perpendicular bisector of AB, leave your answer in the form of that. So first of all, the gradient before, uh, the perpendicular gradient to this is going to be 2 over 3. So it's the old classic trick of minus 1 over minus 3 over 2. Double negatives will cancel out, and if you've got 1 over 3 over 2, you flip the fraction round and it's now 2 over 3. So we've got the first part of the equation nice and straightforward. The next part is if it's perpendicular bisector. So from these two coordinates from here to here, we need the midpoint of that now. 
So the next part is to work out the midpoint of uh, the coordinates. So plug in the k is 3, so that will be a 9 minus 4 is 5, minus 2, and the coordinate 1, uh, 4. Yeah. So what we do here is we do uh, x a add x b over 2. If you want to think of this as a formula, uh, y a plus y b over 2. So you find the average of the two coordinates, basically. So the, or the way I do it is just the number in the middle of 5 and 1 is 3. You could think of it as 5 add 1 is 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And the number that's in between minus 2 and 4 is 1. You can think of this as um, minus 2 add 4 is uh, 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. OK, so we've got the gradient and we've got the coordinate. So set up your y equals mx plus c. y equals 2 over 3x plus c. Plug in the coordinate that you've got, 3, 1. So 3 being the x coordinate, the 1 being the y coordinate. So 1 equals 2 thirds of 3, which is 2, add on c. So c here is going to equal 1, take away the 2 on the other side, so that c will equal minus 1. So y equals 2 thirds of x, take away 1. However, it does want it in its uh, in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So first, I'll have to get rid of any fractions because a, b, and c have to be integers, whole numbers. So times through by 3, and you get 3y equals 2x minus 3. And then move the, the uh, minus 2 onto the other, minus 2x onto the other side, and add 3 onto the other side. So you're going to get minus 2x, add 3y, add 3 equals 0, so just in the form it wants it to be. So here a is representing the number minus 2, b is representing the number 3, and c is representing the number 3 as well. Great, 9 marks for that.